Hello everybody, I want to share with you one of the coolest miracles I've ever seen which happened uh, to my wife and was uh, just a really really awesome thing that God did for us and um, I'm gonna put the medical records on the screen but I have like my own copy here that you that to look at so basically back in 2015 my wife was hospitalized for severe pain um, and they found there was some kind of cyst going on with her with her ovaries um, and her ovary her left over was very enlarged usually they're about the size of a grape this one was I mean over the size of a golf ball up to eight centimeters at the largest area um, she was then diagnosed with endometriosis and endometriosis is a pretty uh, common cause for infertility and it basically is where little tumors come out of the uterus lining and into the body elsewhere, usually staying around the abdomen, but they can kind of go anywhere. Um, and they cause pain and they can cause all sorts of disease. I've seen people lose organs over this. Um, I'm, I'm a nurse, so I've seen that. Uh, so it was a pretty scary disease. Um, she had a moderate to severe case, according to her doctors. She had her first surgery on 316, which you can see on the records there. And in that surgery, they cut out more than half of her left ovary. So we were working with one and a half ovaries at that point. Um, but the symptoms did come back and she had another workup and we were gonna go to another surgeon. This surgeon did an MRI again. And in this MRI record, you can see that her left ovary, it actually appears about normal size, but most of it is again a mass. So. Um, this surgeon confirmed, well, it looks like she did for this first surgeon cut out, you know, half of her ovary, but, you know, this is all just a mess that's regrown on the left ovary. So, she had this second surgeon go in and cut out all the rest of these tumors because they had regrown, and he cut out another half of her left ovary, is what he told us. Um, and that was on one five seventeen, as you can see. So we were working with a quarter ovary on her left side. And the right ovary was fine the whole time, thankfully. So we had our first child, Elias, and we thought that this was over. Sometimes, in fact, I, I think even most of the time, pregnancy will cure endometriosis because of the hormone shifts, things change with the hormones and it kind of like pushes away the disease and that's often a cure. So when the symptoms came back after our first child, my wife was devastated. Um, she was very upset, understandably, and uh, it felt uh, kind of hopeless. Like, you know, this was our shot. We had, we had a kid and this was our shot to get better and to, you know, and so she didn't want another surgery. She didn't want any more of this, obviously. But in the, in the meantime, I mean, from the time of diagnosis till the time this miracle came, it was about four years. And in that time, we pursued God for healing. And, and didn't just pursue him for healing. We pursued God for his healing power to give to other people. I mean, I began like laying hands on people and praying for people and seeing God do miracles, seeing God heal all sorts of things, seeing hearing loss come back and chronic pains just disappear and not come back. I, I saw paralyzed limbs come free, all sorts of miracles, things just happening right under my hands as I prayed and just immediate manifestations of healing and changes in people's body. So at this point, we had a lot of faith. So in 2019, I believe it was February 2019. My wife was scheduled to go see another doctor and get worked up for this endometriosis a third time. Um, before this doctor's appointment, I fasted and prayed for two days straight. No food, just fasting, just prayer, just believing in God as my healer, as our healer, saying, God, you're our healer. I believe in you to do this. I'm putting my faith in you. You're, the Bible says you're a healer. The Bible says these, these signs follow those who believe that they'll lay hands on the sick and the sick will recover. The Bible says if you have, pray the prayer of faith that he will heal the sick. So we put our faith in God. So the night before this doctor's appointment, Nina puts her foot down. She says, I'm believing I'm healed. 
And she says this. She goes further. She goes, not only am I believing I'm healed, but I'm taking my ovary back. And she reaches out and she grabs an ovary in the spirit. And she goes like this and puts it into herself, right? So she calls me up the next day because I'm at work. And she tells me about what happens. She goes and gets this ultrasound. The doctor calls her and the doctor says, all right, everything's normal. You have no endometriosis. And she's like, all right, great. What about my ovary? And the doc goes, what about your ovary? And she's like, my left ovary. They cut out my left ovary almost all the way. And the doctor's like, hmm, uh, are you sure it's the left one? And the, she's like, yeah. She's like, well, in this report, your left ovary is bigger than your right ovary. So you should check with your surgeon on that. And bam, God regenerated a new ovary in her. Awesome, right? So look, here's the cherry on top. Ready? That's the month we got pregnant with our second son. Amen. <laughs> awesome. And there's the report right there showing two normal ovaries we've had. Plenty of ultrasound since then showing that she has two normal, full functioning, perfect ovaries. Everything's normal. She's healthy and healed. Praise God. And look, it doesn't end there. Look, we go to church and we testify about this. We have our pastor hand us the mic and I give this story. A guy in our church comes to us a week later and says, you know, when you gave that testimony, I just, I just had faith and... And I just believed for my back pain. He said, he said he had discs that were broken in his back. He said he put new discs in his back, and the pain disappeared and never came back. And this guy, we've known him for over a year now. He still doesn't have pain. He's been over a year pain-free from chronic pain that was practically crippling for him. Just, he just stood in faith, just put, put a disc right in his back. But here's the funny thing, ready? This guy went to his doctor, and the doctor got an x-ray on his back and said that his back looks worse than ever. So, the x-ray says this guy's back is worse than ever, but the guy, for the first time in years, has no pain. He's running, jumping, playing, doing all this stuff, no pain. So, riddle me that. I don't know. The guy's free of pain, that's the important thing, right? So, one last, one last manifestation of healing came out of this. A friend of ours went to pray for a girl who had an ectopic pregnancy. So he goes and sees this girl, and while he's there, he calls up Nina and has Nina give this testimony to this girl with the ectopic pregnancy. Well, woman. I mean, she was a married woman, right? So Nina gives the testimony, and my friend Mike prays over this girl. And a week later, we get word that the baby who was lodged in the fallopian tube was now in the uterus and growing healthy and normal. And now she has a normal, healthy pregnancy. That is impossible, okay? Ovaries don't grow back. Babies don't move, all right? These are miracles. Praise God. You put your faith in him. You pursue God. You read your Bible. You believe that Bible. You believe our God. You're going to see miracles in your life, too. Praise God. He's good. He's strong. He's mighty. He can do all things. Amen. God bless you all. Thanks for listening. I should add that I've also given this testimony to dozens, if not hundreds of people. And uh, I've seen it raise faith in people, and I've, I've laid hands on people and seen healings come through this. And I, I, I give this testimony to patients in the hospital where I work. And, uh, I mean, I've seen it just touch many, many lives, and it's just the power of a testimony, and that's the power of the miracle working power of God. It gives people hope, it gives them trust in God, it shows them that he's real, and that he cares, and that he loves us, and it's just, it's just a beautiful thing that God does. He just, he does these wonderful works in our lives, and, and he, he transforms you in the little ways, and he transforms you in the big ways, and he does all the little stuff for you, and he does big things for you, and he's just a beautiful, awesome God.